Bueno against the Dagger Bueno, a Canadian living in Japan, actually, who is also in charge of uh, making some uh, some movies, actually, a movie producer, if I'm correct, and who also is uh, a part of the people who are in charge of the Tatakai Tuesday, which is an offline uh, event, an offline tournament, which takes place in Red Bull Sphere Gaming Tokyo. And uh, where we also have Yuna, who is a tournament organizer over there. So he's a pretty important person. And today we're going to see his wonderful soul duking it out against Dagger, the Malaysian bike. And first time I actually see them uh, play in our tournament. Actually, I never saw uh, one or the other play in this tournament. So I'm actually looking forward to see what they're going to offer us. But as I am speaking, Dagger is definitely bringing the heat but also gets wild thrown by Bueno. Bueno doesn't like to hold back. <laughs> I, I talk by experience, by the way. Oh, my Lonnie Rig with the jump back. Jump S right there from Dagger. Dagger has him almost right where they want it. Oh, my Lord. And the emergency DP from Bueno. Bueno loves this DP, man. And here we go with the grab. It's not going to kill. And the schmixes. Fortunately for Dagger, a little bit too early, I believe on his Yozan Sen mix right there, who should normally cross up. This is going to do a lot of damage, unfortunately for uh, Bueno. Dagger actually uh, was, had finished uh, applying the, um, the, how is it called? I forgot, the um, Shibari. It's not Shibari, it's uh, Kabari. Here we go. Lord, I'm losing everything. <laughs> okay, and here we go with finally the burst pop by Bueno. Doesn't want to deal with any type of pressure i am going to ask you guys to wait a couple of seconds because i need to check uh what's going on okay movie is good here we good here we go with the big roman cancer right there from bueno is gonna yep yeah, score that goal and the freaking burst bait right here very well done by oh bueno and the big six h counter hit he couldn't quite get him oh my lord with the wild throw and that was a wild throw what a fitting name and just like this first game goes to bueno very nicely done let's see how this pans out is dagger going to run it back right away i hope we don't have a connection error filter rematch okay please tell me it's not a connection error it's not okay Dagger might be uh, switching to another character. It's definitely possible. We shall see in the coming minutes. Let's see how this pans out. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I think Dagger is probably going to change character right now. I'm so dead. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. Perfect. So on to the second battle. Still biking. Okay, Dagger just wanted probably to... Go back to the lobby just to catch his breath. Try to recollect himself, as we say in French. I don't know if it's a fitting term in English. I do not care. <laughs> Everybody's popping Guilty Gear right there. Akemi, Exxon, perfect. That being said, here we go on the second round this time around. Changing the scenery for the presidential. Oh, Lord! And right away with the Bandit Revolver gets counter hit by the standing S of Dagger. That being said, Bueno does a good job of bringing it back again, going for all of these wild throws, man. Dude likes them resets. And here we go with a whiff. Yozan Sen immediately punished by the standing K of Bueno. Finally, Dagger forced to pop the burst. Gets out of harm's way. Also manages to squeeze in um, aerial uh, overdrive right there. Oh, Lord. And here we go. Oh, my Lord. Bueno going completely crazy. Here we go. Very nice counter hit right there. Dagger fails to do the juggle. This is unfortunate for him. Let's see if he manages to keep the pressure. Oh lord, and here we go, the standing key, very nicely done by Bueno, still manages to take this round. How is this going to pan out? Aerial approach by Bueno, again with the wild throw dagger, definitely not ready for this. Probably, uh, I didn't recognize whether or not, oh my lord, the big vortex counter it right there, underneath the Kabar, this is going to do a lot of damage. Here we go with the wall break. Positive bonus thrower. Bueno. Oh my lord. And the whiff revolver doesn't matter. I still have a DP to make it safe. And here we go. The close HS into the usual bread and butter of Dagger. Of Biken. My bad. And again with the vortex this time around. Dagger jumps out of the way. And my lord. All of the whiffs. These whiffs. Oh, very nice jumping S right there from Dagger. Couldn't quite get the finish right there. Oh my lord. And the... Big, big, big Hiragi, man. Ah, 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 ah. 
Oh my lord, and he just lets it rip. Nope. Okay, here we go. Use the Roman cancel to make it so that his cemetery was safe. Very nice block right there from Bueno. I would have definitely got hit. No conversion on the counter hit right there on the follow up of the uh, Kabari. This is a little bit unfortunate, but finally, here we go with Dagger taking one round. Perhaps this is the start of a change in momentum. Very nice standing guess to uh, catch the uh, startup frames of the 6 HS of. Sol, here we go, Aerial Proch yet again from Bueno. Bueno again using the um, the, um, um, the 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 bringer. Here we go with the revolver pushing Dagger ever so slightly in the corner. Dagger forced to pop the burst. And ooh, okay, here we go with the trade. Fortunate for Dagger still, if I might say. Managed to get Bueno off of his face, but man, oh my lord, that back dash was crazy. And the wild throw. I knew he was gonna go for it. I knew he was gonna go for it. I knew it. I knew it. I know you, Bueno. Okay, let's see if uh, Dagger is going to rematch right away, or maybe go back to the level, uh, to the lobby once again. I don't know. It definitely seems like Dagger is going back to the lobby again. Perhaps to change characters, I guess. You are allowed to change characters if you're on the loser side, so definitely you should make use of it if you can. Oh, and here we go with the. Uh, rematch, straight up rematch this time around. Dagger ready. Oh lord, and the counter hit in favor of Dagger. Almost got the juggle and Bueno forced to burst to get out to uh, mitigate the amount of damage it was going to be, going to be subject to. Here we go, the big 2HS counter hit. We get the juggle and the follow up. Very nice stuff. And here we go, popping the RC to get the extension. You're gonna get a huge corner carry. No wall break by any means, but definitely healthy damage right there. No! Follow up on the counter hit of the follow up of the Kabari. This is unfortunate, but very nice to it. Just right there from Dagger, definitely staying alive. He definitely needs this match if he wants to stay in the in the winner's bracket. Here we go with a whip bandit bringer. Wasn't quite punished, but at least Dagger took this opportunity. Oh lord, he goes for the empty throw right there, and the wake up DP from Bueno doesn't want to deal with any type of pressure. And very nice pickup from Bueno right there using the standing K2. Get the juggle and he's going to get the wall break. Positive bonus. How is Dagger going to? Oh, very nice standing. Close HS actually to punish the uh, whiff revolver. Oh, Lord, unfortunate. Oh, oh, here we go again with the DP man. Bueno out of his mind. He doesn't want to stop DP man. The DP master. Ooh, okay, this is a very interesting use of the RC and it actually and out it actually worked out in the end so bueno definitely knowing what he's doing here we go with the bandit breaker from the highest point in, in the air very nice follow-up of the kabari dagger has bueno in the corner here we go with the throw resets he goes for an empty throw yet again this time around no oh no juggle right there with the again this is unfortunate but it's still okay it's still okay he still has Bueno in the corner, Bueno, yeah, having a little bit of a hard time to make himself out of the corner. You go with, again, with the Kabari follow-up and counter it this time. He uses the RC to get the easy extension and the kill uh, in consequence. Very nicely done by Dagger, puts one on the, uh, on the, on the board. I'm losing my English, man. Here we go again with the counter hit, the standing is such a good move from Biken and here we go immediately uses the close HS to get the uh, combo from Dagger. He pushes Bueno ever so slightly in the corner. Bueno forced to respect the pressure with the safe setups of the Tatami guys here right there from Dagger. He goes again for the very very nice Kabari extension. RC'd into the kill. Very nicely done. Let's see how Bueno... Bueno definitely on uh, on the receiving end right now. Very nice follow-up and conversion right there from Dagger. He dropped the combo though, unfortunately, but it's still okay. He still got a pretty nice chunk of damage in, and here we go with the, <laughs> the DP right in between the uh, Kabari right there, the Kabari in the follow-up, and the wild throw got finally punished right there, and finally uh, Dagger managed to not get hit by it. Okay, what is Bueno gonna do again with the cemetery? Is it gonna hit this time around? Okay, Dagger had his double jump to make it safe. Very nicely done. He's gonna get the extension, the juggle, and the kill. Let's go. Quick fourth round right there from Dagger. He's bringing it back, actually. We do have a match, ladies and gentlemen. 
Let's see how this pans out. Good stuff. Okay, this time around, maybe Bueno is the one who wants to go back to the go back to the to the lobby, but that's not the case. Surprise, my brother. How are you doing, Hakumaon? And here we go. Very nice use of the Stang Deng K2 catch dagger out of the air. Here we go with the gun flame a little bit too far for this, but still okay. Here we go with the run-up throw from dagger. He's gonna go with the oh, again a miss time. Yozan send this is unfortunate, but still okay. Here we go. It's not over till it's over. Whiffed 2HS, couldn't quite punish this due to the distance. And Bueno just really, really struggling to get in right there. And here we go with the jumping HS into the Yozans and into a full combo. This did a ton of damage. Back to neutral. And again, Bueno not respecting the follow-up of the of the Kabari. This has been his bane. He has been getting hit by this so freaking often. Hope you're well, bro, and have a great tournament. Thank you very much, Hakuma. I hope you're doing very well, you and your family, man. Thank you very much for uh, the loads of follow I got. We actually managed to go over 1,000 brojos, guys. We have 1,000 brojos to the channel. I am ecstatic. Very happy to have you here today. And just as I say this, here we go again with Bueno and... Oh, my God, the wake up. Okay, and here we go. Let's go for simple stuff. The 2k for the win and we're on the final round of the final match good stuff from both players the one who takes this one takes it all and stays in the winner's final in the winner's bracket i'm sorry the final is uh, far from there we are still not here here we go with the close s counter hit this is going to do a lot of damage and probably most certainly got the kill the winner was oh, bridge i really like the character but not not as much as you know man not to the point of buying a poster over the only two characters I'm gonna buy posters of are, is either Eno or uh, Kami from Street Fighter 6. This is the two only characters I'm, I'm willing to do. So that being said, let's hop on to the next battle. Is gonna be none other than Seb, but Send Bag Kai against Neri. Neri, second participation if I'm correct. And here we go. Neri trying to put Send Bag Kai in the corner. Finally succeeds to do this. To do so, unfortunately, got. Uh, jumped on by sent by Kai no entire and here we go with the run-up grab the signature best strategy from Kai players just run up and grab <laughs> keep it simple as long as it works why change it and here we go finally with the 6p from Neri manages to uh, snatch oh my lord anti-raw overdrive right there from Neri and finally with the stun dipper for the win by sent by Kai saw the opportunity grabbed it very nicely done 1000 followers probably means you're ready to make a tier list for twitter nah man i am definitely not <laughs> no i'm not i'm not maybe one day if i i don't know if i if i'm actually good at the game i will but nah i, I, I don't think that mine is going to be anything pertinent that being said here we go with the 2k 2d into the rekka binary very nicely done is going to escort send back high into G corner very nice setup oh no to get rid of the burst safely that being said a missed time standing s made it so that neri dropped the combo but that being said neri secured it right after took it back and managed to take one round very nicely done by neri and here we go with the start of the round with the stun dipper into the run-up grab the best strategy of kai players by the way have i already said it i did it doesn't matter and here we go neri back with the corner position very nice uh sword throw right there he's gonna get a wall break yep no he couldn't use the overdrive this is unfortunate but still okay very nice air to air counter it is this going to grab the bag yes it did catch the bag dash this is unfortunate but very nice read right there from said Bakai. uses the fudra dark and finally lands a fully charged dust Thanks to the fact that Neri had the burst, he was able to get out of harm's way and just wakes up DP to take it, man. He steals it back, Neri. Very nicely done. Good stuff first. Match goes to Neri. Good stuff indeed. That being said, here we go with the second round. Uh, the second match, I'm sorry. Uh, that being said, I... Yeah, we're good. Okay, perfect. Here we go with almost the juggle from Neri. Got... Send back high in the corner again with the stun dipper. Unfortunately, couldn't quite get the second hit to hit. Ah, uh, maybe the DP truly uh, there. Yeah, of course, the DP of Ram is obviously her. Oh, overdrive. And this is a safe mode overdrive, by the way. The sacred edge is very nice. Uh, very nice. Oh, decision of Neri to hit buttons right there in the pressure of Kai. Could find the gap. That being said, here we go with send by Kai. Waking up with 6p into the direct law. Okay, here we go with Neri. 
entering in do oh my lord here we go the overdrive for the safe kill very nicely done neri takes the first round of the second match allison by kai going to answer we shall see and here we go with the air to air counter it in favor of kai and my lord neri not afraid to just run up and 6p man if it works it works he's gonna get the wall break but before that he's going to get the calvados huge damage incoming into a hard knockdown is gonna go for the safe jump and finally forces kai to pop the burst and here we go again neri pressing buttons in the pressure of kai man not afraid unfortunately couldn't quite get the kill not enough to do so and here we go finally send by kai using the wonderful dragon install of kai that everybody uses if they want to do a comeback i am saying this sarcastic sarcastically i'm pretty sure everybody caught on on my sarcasm no kai has been able to win around using this install but everybody tries it eventually no actually no that that's a lie i did see uh i do believe it was uh shine who was able to make a comeback during the evo U using the dragon install i do believe yeah mostly mostly but some of them some of them actually managed to do it it does look cool not gonna lie okay here we go again with the safe jump a very nice four s right there counter hit from uh, send back Kai. He was a little bit shy on trying to finish his uh, this, his combo and unfortunately dropped it, but it's still okay. He got the... Oh, Lord, he's got the offense back. And here we go with Neri doing a good job of whiff punishing any attempt of uh, send back Kai to... Oh, Lord, to press buttons, and this is gonna spell death. Very nicely done. Oh, what the hell? Um, okay, my... <laughs> my scoreboard is going FUBAR. What are you doing? Scoreboard, are you drunk? This is gonna be. Uh, I think it's one, one each. I hope it is. Yeah, my my scoreboard is going crazy. What the hell? Uh, this is gonna be such a drag. Oh lord, really, man? Oh, there we go. Okay, I think we are good. This is gonna be so hard. That's what she said. Okay, and here we go. Cut up jump frames. Yes, he did. Indeed. Can you please not go full bar? Board. Okay, this should do. Forty. Yes, I think we're good. Okay. What the hell happened? Okay, good. Okay. Hell? Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm sorry. Yeah, I had to. I had to. Uh, I had to get. Uh, okay, we're one for Neri and zero for Senbakai, and that. Being said, we are now two for Neri and zero for Senbakai. I don't know why names. <laughs> what is going on? It's okay. I can solve this pretty quickly. Here we go. This one here, and this one there. We are good. The names are back. <laughs> Lord, I have no idea what's going on. Does the score work this time around? At least, yes, it does. Perfect. We're good. And here we go with the start of the match and immediately Ice using safe jump setup and Bon Bon, bon using Biken actually. Okay, 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 I see you. Lord, Bon Bon, bon just basically he gave up on so oh, no. But it's still okay, I like seeing some Biken action and just like this here we go with optimization station from Bon Bon, bon. he goes for a cross up Yozon and that was sick, not gonna lie. And here we go with Schmix's to sell to the dozen very nicely done first round goes to bon bon, bon and we don't see the flags as well i'm going to have to solve this as well here we go and here we go where's the flag here we go, here we go. perfect here we go finally oh lord and they did oh lord uh, they did they didn't respect the uh, they actually did i'm just dumb okay okay just one second, please. The names are not in their correct place. Ice. And... Hmm? Oh, no, we're good. Ah, uh, I'm just really dumb. Oh, there we go. Bon Bon. Not Bon Bon. Which is Ice? Ice! And I'm sorry, guys. And Bon Bon is here. Perfect. We got it correctly. And here we go with the first 
Oh, actually, Ice manages to take the second round. Very nicely done. And here we go with the Mimi. E8 hover start of the round. And Banbaba -Ban not afraid to contest that hop right there, right after the dive from Ice. Okay, very nice 6P right there. Fortunately for Banbaban, -Ban, he didn't commit to any attack on his way down. And here we go, you're in Schmixland. Very nice, Kabari. He's got Ice. She buried, actually. Oh, Lord, here we go. And the Schmixes is gone. Okay, Bun 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 manages to get out of pressure's way. Okay, very nice aerial, uh, very uh, nice aerial approach from Ice. He's actually going to get the overdrive right there. Oh, almost so far, but so close, almost got it. Okay, very nice use right there from Bamba Bon. He probably wants to go for chip kills, and just like this, Ice manages to take one round off of Bamba Bon, man. Uh oh, on, trying to. Uh, hopefully, he's going to successfully. And I really wish Arxis improved the service so that this doesn't happen as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Soda, soda. Arigato gozaimasu, Koya san. Oh, the big 6 HS counter hit right there from Bamba Bam. Very nicely done. Oh, unfortunate. Very unfortunate burst right there from Bamba Bam. Really tried to get out of harm's way. He goes for a very nice tricky setup with the Ozan San Red after the jumping HS. Very nice. Confirm right there from Bamba Bam. He's gonna get the kill very smoothly. Good stuff from Bamba Bam. Puts one on the on the uh, board. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, and here we go with the Tatami Gaishi right there. Catches Ice on his way down. Here we go with the grab. He's gonna put Ice out of the corner, but right back in thanks to the. Uh, juggle potential uh, with the mix potential of the Ozon Sen again goes for the corner uh, with the cross up very nice uh, patience right there from Ice he was definitely about to get baited uh, to burst but Ice holding on to it hopefully this time around we won't get a connection error we didn't this is perfect okay one match apiece oh here we go with the Tatami Gaishi and the Kabari he goes for the extension and but Ice press some buttons there this is unfortunate for him here we go the Yozan Sen oh, okay Ban 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 aware that it's not you know stern after a blocked HS stroke anymore oh my lord and the reaction Hilagi that was crazy good that was a reaction Hilagi he didn't do it like right on wake up he did it when uh, ice was actually hovering this was crazy good good stuff from Ban 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 he gets the Oh, he catches Ice out of the air. Ice resorting to using the stroke to get underneath the Kabari. Very uh, intelligent um, decision from him. Ban 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 mashing on Wake Up right there. Unfortunately, gets scooped by the note. And here we go with the big, 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 big mixes from Ban Ban Ban. Goes low this time around. He's going to get the wall break. Ice on his last legs right there on the verge of losing this match. Specifically, Mandavan not eager to. Oh Lord! Very nice use of the RC right there to make his recovery frames uh, recover um, a lot faster. Oh, okay, here we go. Ice so far, but so close. Oh Lord! And the wake up standing. P4 Mandavan's win. He takes the second match as well. Ice definitely needs to. I thought Mandavan was a soulmate. Was is he just playing? I'm pretty sure he's um. He might have switched. I think. I probably, since uh, I, he probably realized the potential of Viking, which would be very, very well, maybe for the matchup as well. Since, uh, well, <laughs> Viking against Eno is a horrible matchup for Eno, so yeah, maybe for this matchup, it's quite possible. We'll we'll get to see later on in the in the tournament if you ask me. But I think he might have made the switch. The way that he plays her right now is like tells me that he's definitely committed. So let's see how this pans out. And the Yozan sent for the kill, and just like this, Ban Ban, ban on the verge of. Taking this match. Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord, here we go with the. Uh, sur qui, mais arrêtez. Partir sur qui. C'est qui qui. <laughs> Je connais pas. Agatia. Yeah, Bike is really strong in this version. Definitely. And this is a very good matchup for Bike. Oh lord, unfortunately for him, he led the overdrive pop even though Ice. No, no, no. Well, but it's still okay. Well, Ice still managed to keep the offense right there. He gets the double. Oh lord, and Ban 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 not afraid to just wake up standing P, man. Here we go again. Standing P to catch the hovers attempts from Ice. That was gonna be none other than Moogie against FG Twilight. Moogie, 
the Nagoriyuki killer. Well, the actually the killer who uses Nagoriyuki. But this time around resorted to use Mei. I do not know why. We shall see probably. Let's see how this pans out. I have never seen Mugi use Mei before. Okay, here we go. Totsugeki right away. And here we go with Twilight running straight into Totsugeki man. And Mugi man not relenting. Finally manages. Oh lord, and the ram slam right in your face. Okay, here we go back to the neutral and Mugi finding the opening. Actually having a yellow aura May, so that means he's been using her quite a lot, man. This is actually pretty surprising. And here we go with Mugi again using the Totsugi, trying to uh, close the gap between him and his opponent. Manages to find the opening. And here we go with the second round. How is this going to pan? And a big jump. As counter hit right there from FT Twilight manages to find the opening again with Mugi finding the opening with the Totsugiki counter hit could get a second one in as well. FT Twilight just throwing them blades away as he should. He has a Mugi right where he wants. He's gonna get the wall. Yeah, he's gonna get the kill actually. Yes, he did. Good stuff from FT Twilight remaining alive. Good stuff. And before him using Nago, it was just 5% of his true power. This is actually the case. This is actually the case. <laughs> oh, that might be the case. That would be pretty sick, man. Like, he, him deciding to resort to using Nago just to uh, suppress his power. That would be a freaking shonen, a shonen like outcome right there. That being said, we go with the 2 HS. Fortunately for FT Twilight, he guards and doesn't get hit by it. Okay, and back to the corner. Mugi in the corner in Dire Straits. He does have a, a quite a hefty health lead. He manages to get out of the corner using the sweep from... Oh my lord! And the wake up overdrive. This has been a very big uh, recurrence in this tournament. And here we go. The Mugi manages to take it with the overhead clean. Good stuff from Mugi. Takes the first round. On to the next round. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the start of around the 6P of Twilight. Oh, and my lord, the conversion. Very nicely done. He drops the combo at the end, but it's still okay. Still managed to get about 40% damage in. He gets the wall break. Let's see how Twilight will start. Oh, after the wall break, he gets in the standing S into the end. Standing HS. And here we go with... Oh, death. A big anchor in your face. <laughs> Good stuff. From Mugi manages to take the first round of the second match as well. The big ram slam with right there and adequately punished by Mugi. Finally, Mugi forced to pop the burst to get FT Twilight off of his face. FT Twilight still uh, still struggling to keep Mugi in one place, but it's understandable. The air mobility of May is definitely top notch, if I might say. And here we go. Finally, Twilight manages to pin Mugi. In the corner, this is gonna do a lot of uh, this is gonna kill actually. Yeah, this is gonna kill. No, no overdrive from Twilight. This is unfortunate. And here we go. No, Twilight, not enough time to get a 6p in. That being said, it's still okay. Not over till it's over. And the big 4 HS from Moogie, but unfortunately, he kind of messes up his media and gets grabbed on wake up by FT Twilight on to the third round. And here we go, finally, FT Twilight forced to pop the burst to get out of harm's way. And again, with Mugi successfully landing on him, even manages to, uh, to squeeze in an air throw. Very nicely done. And this is gonna do... Lord. Lord. <laughs> My lord. Good lord. That was a lot of damage, man. On a single anchor. That was crazy big. Good stuff from Mugi, though. Shows his proficiency with me, actually. Up... Two rounds to nil, and my freaking lord, what's the what's going on? I need to uh to check my macros actually. Just one second, guys. I'm gonna check my macros because this is uh, bothering me. Hide, 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 show, yeah. So why are you not hiding the other? Hide, 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 show. Okay, here we go. Sorry for the wait. So we got two. What the hell? Uh, I think I know what the problem is. No, I don't actually. 
Okay, very nice Calvados right there from uh, from FT Twilight. Actually manages to take the first round. Good stuff. What the hell is going on? Oh. What is this? Uh, Lord. Okay, I'll I'll be right back, guys. I'm keeping an eye. Don't worry. A lot of strange occurrences today going on. And here we go with the wall break from Moogie. He's gonna deal a lot of damage. Oh, sure. This is so let's, let's see. Okay. <laughs> oh, guess okay, so number two is having a problem now. We go with the Calvados, and just like this, actually, Mugi takes it three to zero. Then uh, Kohide versus R X. This is gonna be a big freaking match if I have seen any, and I'll be commentating it in a short while. <laughs> I just need to deal with this problem real quick. No, it's not working. What the hell? It's not. What the hell is going on? Oh, again, here we go. A big, big, big pickup from Kohide. And first round goes to Kohide. Good stuff. Lord. Okay, this is gonna work. I don't understand. Hmm. Here we go, the first round goes to Kohide. Actually, this one here. Very nicely done. Fail to rematch, okay. Oh, okay, so uh, probably our ex is going to change characters right now as he has a lot of pocket characters, namely Chip. I think he's gonna go for Chip, if I'm correct. He's definitely gonna go for Chip. And here we go with the Chip of our ex. Definitely looking forward. I don't understand. What the hell is going on? Hmm. Okay, well I guess this solved it, does it? Okay, here we go with the big 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 sweep from RX and this should probably do I guess. What is gonna do? I don't know. He's so strange. Okay. He's just gonna do it then. Zero, one, two, and three. Okay, this should add. Uh, this is gonna do, huh? Okay, finally, I'm sorry for the wait, guys. I have a lot of uh, technical issues today. This is strange. Stuff that never happened before. But that being said, here we go with the big 2S into 2HS. Oh, and the wake up overdrive from 
Echo. He did this, did a ton of damage. Oh my lord. And the big 6P entire right there from Koi did definitely on point. Both characters, both <laughs> are trying to catch each other. <laughs> this was pretty funny. Like a Tom and Jerry moment right there. Okay, let me just do this real quick. Yeah, here we go with the 2 HS counter hit from Kohide managed to catch uh, RX off guard, but immediately RX re uh, resorted to using the burst to get out of harm's way. I have a lot of... What was going on? Oh, okay, again, here we go. The 2D catches... Uh, catches or... RX off guard and here we go with the second round goes to goes to uh, Giovanna Giovanna Kohide very nicely done Here we go with the wall break. Finally, Kohide on the verge of actually taking it. That went extremely fast. Very nice 2S2 HS catches. Kohide off guard. Very nice jump in as well. He's gonna push Kohide ever so slightly in the corner. But Kohide definitely not seeing his last words, especially since he has a quite a hefty lead. And he's gonna get the wall break. No tension bar in order to get the heavy knockdown. A very nice aerial grab right there from Kohide. Nice reaction timing, and RX resorting to using the back dash to get out of harm's way and punishes Kohide. Oh, accordingly, oh my lord, and the juggle from Kohide was on the point, on the verge of taking it. Here we go with RX, manages to get the, the juggle, he could get the, uh, the, the wall break, and let's see how this pans out, oh lord, and unfortunately he gets scooped by Kohide's Nasante. The battle is going to be none other than Yuhi versus Takarin. Takarin Breen. Let's see how this pans out. Yahoo, indeed. That pressure is pretty godlike, not gonna lie. Sorry, I have a little bit of technical issues, that's why I cannot commentate quite clearly right now. And here we go, first round goes to Yuhi, good stuff from him. Anyways, I'll take care of this later. Okay, and back to the match. A very nice punish on the snail. The whiff, the, the block snail by uh, Yuhi right there. He's gonna get the wall break. No heavy knockdown, unfortunately, but it's still okay. He's definitely in the lead right now. Uh, quite a healthy, uh, healthy health lead, actually. There we go with the bad moon. He gets it right away. He's gonna get the 
wall splat doesn't even need the wall splat doesn't even need the follow-up of the wall splat into the overdrive to get the kill Takarin definitely struggling right there to keep Yuhi out of his hair his blue beautiful blonde hair both of them by the way and here we go with the overhead successfully blocked by Takarin very very nicely done these reactions man and here we go with you he he's got Takarin where he wants but Takarin with the defense of a tank right there Oh, and here we go with Yuhi trying to whiff punish something that didn't come out, but still okay. Here we go with the snail and my lord Takarin inviting punish attempts right there just to punish by himself. Yuhi on the verge of getting that wall spot, unfortunately, he couldn't quite get it because Takarin was aware of it. And just like this, he catches Takarin off of his feet. He's gonna get the wall break. Yep, this is gonna spell death. A clean 2 0 for Yuhi as of now. Let's see if Takarin can answer in Ju. Uh, as someone who's balding, I wish I had hair as nice as either, man. My thoughts, exactly. <laughs> you read my thoughts. And this bald man commentating as well agrees with the bald man that agrees with the bald man. That being said, here we go with Takarin trying to get out of the way, trying to really zone Yuhi out, but the mobility of Yuhi is really unprecedented. He's gonna get the wall break again. He couldn't quite use. Well, he did decided not to use the tension bar to get the heavy knockdown. Probably wanted to keep it for another occasion. He's okay. Finally, Takarin forced to burst right there. Probably doesn't want to go to that absolute last round. Oh my lord! And the bad moon god successfully blocked right there. Very nicely done by Takarin. Unfortunately, he gets open with the remainder of the pressure. Good stuff. From you here on the verge of sending Takarin in the losers, and that is quite a feat, if you ask me. Oh, here we go, Yuhi on with the schmixes, man. Takarin has problem keeping it up. Or going with fake cross-ups and the and the such. Oh lord! And again with the bad moon and Takarin. Oh lord! Yuhi almost I really thought I was gonna try to bait it. I don't know why. But yeah, Yuhi, man, this dude, this dude, he has such an understanding of million dress like this. A trade in favor of Yuhi takes it a clean rage against Kohide. So Zij, a the best, the absolute best Nagoro Yuki player in Singapore, all in Southeast Asia, actually. So yeah, this is definitely a matchup I'm looking forward to. He definitely eliminated, actually. Uh, Kohiden last time that they fought together. So let's see how this pans out. A double Fuki right there and the immediate gold burst by Kohiden. Doesn't want to have to deal with anything, man. Oh lord, and here we go with Kohiden finally in. Uses the RC to make his uh, his flip kick safe. Very nice for HS right there from Zij. Zij trying to, uh, to scoop Kohiden out of the air, but Kohiden finds the opening he's gonna get the wall break very nicely done and here we go with the positive bonus as well oh here we go finally Zeej forced to pop the burst to get Kohide out of his hair Kohide not afraid to continue the relentless assault and Lord is going for and the wake up overdrive you should never ever ever think that Kohide will not wake up with Overdrive. He definitely likes to do it, especially when he has two bars. Who wouldn't, actually? That being said, here we go. Kohide again with the back dash in the corner. And Zeej finds the opening, scoops his back dash out and gets a wall splat in the um, in the process. Oh, very nice 6 right there. Catch Kohide out of the air. Oh, Lord. Oh, Kohide afraid to. Yeah. Oh, Lord. And the double, double dust. The double Roman cancel into the quick dust for the kill. Good stuff from Zij. Puts one on the board. Oh, but finally Kohide finds the uh, finds the opening with the 2D counter it. Okay, he's got Zij right in the corner. He definitely does not want him to get out of it. And emergency Beyblade to get out of the corner from Zij. She does have quite a bit of blood already. Oh lord, was that a good idea to Fukio right there? It was actually. Okay, here we go. And again, the Fukio. Very nice awareness of Zij, by the way. To know that he uh, hit twice so he can allow himself to Fukio. Oh lord, that would have been the killing blow. Oh, and here we go. Oh lord, I'm afraid. I should be afraid in the 6P, man. Oh lord, that was a killing blow, maybe? No, 6P. And you get scooped by the aerial overdrive. Very nicely done by Kohide. 
brings it back ever so slightly. Oh, Lord! And the 6 feet to, to hit Kohide out of his Nasante. That was crazy good. Good stuff from Zeej. Gets the first match. Kohide struggling with the rhythm, the current rhythm of Zeej. Probably more used to uh, playing with, uh, like, I guess defensive um, the Nagoyuki players, such as uh, Mugi, but Mugi is pretty offensive as well. <laughs> that being said, here we go, finally Kohide forced to pop the burst, and Zeej using the uh, Zaramiyuki to close the gap. Okay, he's got Kohide in the corner. He does have quite a lot of blood, uh, blood... Oh lord, and here we go, Kohide just running straight into the blade of Zeej and loses this first round of the second match. Okay, and that being said, here we go with the second round of the second match. Let's see if Kohide can find some sort of adjustment to try to reverse the momentum. Momentum that he so desperately... Oh my lord, this is not good. Oh, Zeej on the verge of getting blood rage, but it's okay, he calculated pretty correctly. And Kohide, who definitely caught on to the double Fukio of Zeej, definitely understood that there was going to be a grab at the end of this, of this tunnel. Oh my lord, and the repeated, very nice nightly outfit. Giovanna is a grappler. If anybody doubted it, now you know. Oh, very nice stuff. No, oh, and the... Okay, so okay. Zeech still in it. Still not dead. Oh, Lord. And the Fukia. Oh, okay, very nice. The 4 HS. No, and the jump in and the Puente for the kill by Kohide. Finally manages to take one round. Okay, here we go. Started around the double DP. Well, DP plus follow-up. Again, DP plus follow-up. You better look at your gauge, my dear sir. Oh, Lord, and the close HS to catch the backdash attempt from Kohide. Kohide loves to backdash. It's his favorite button in the game. I, I swear to God it is. And the quick dust for the kill. Zeej in the lead. 2-0. Two, two, what is Kohide going to do? Zeej doing a lot of work right there. Performing very, very, very good these days. Oh, here we go. Again with the 6 speed. Very nice reaction right there. Kohide getting a little bit angsty with things not going quite his way. Okay, here we go, the far slash, the far HS, ooh, ooh, and the punish of the 6 HS right there by Kohide. Again, very nice whiff punish right there from Kohide, manages to find the opening. Nope, no one's home. Ah, Kohide, ah, yeah. Oh, and the jump in by Kohide again with the grab, and he finds the opening. Oh, Lord, and the quick dust. Get a taste of your own medicine, Zage, But still not enough to kill. The guts and the defense on Nagoriyuki are top notch, as you can see. Because he just got Kohide right where he wants him. Finds the opening. Oh lord, hesitates a bit, if I might say, but still finds the opening and uh, the grab. And Zage brings it back. Are you serious? Zage, Zage is thirsty. Lord, very thirsty for blood, out for blood. And again with the Beyblade. Zeej going crazy. He goes with the grab. Command grab. Oh, Lord. Ah, Zeej going ham. Koide needs to, yeah, do something. Oh, Lord. Yeah. No, oh, and again. Koide gets grabbed, man. And again with the grab, Lord. Oh, Koide not happy. Koide definitely not happy. Wake up. Break up. And this is gonna hit. Oh, okay, okay. Finally, Koide forced to pop it. Oh, Lord. Are you serious? Okay, here we go, Z trying to find, yeah, trying to bait the YRC right there. But Koide made a good decision to hold on to it. No, oh, and the walk-up grab, actually, the dash grab, and again the dash grab, but this time around, Z knows that Koide was going for it. He backdashes in the absolute bit. I love you, Naolin Rain, and welcome to the Brojos. That being said, here we go on. Uh, Yuhi is definitely not from Singapore, by the way. Lord, I'm off of my game today. I'm doing a lot of dumb stuff. Here we go, Yuhi from Japan, of course. And Mugi still uses. <laughs> okay, this is really, really, really surprising me. Is that B Mugi? I'm not quite sure, man. Okay, that being said, here we go with the big whiff punish from Yuhi. Okay, he's gonna get the wall break, actually. Yeah, almost got it, but uh, yeah, with the too many numbers of combos right there. 
Uh, well, Mugi got dropped out of the combo, but here we go. Yeah, you have to hold it. You have to hold it. And a quick first round for Yuhi. Let's see if Mugi will be able to bring it back. And the big Totsugeki onslaught from Mugi. He gets uh, he gets heavy knockdown though and forced to be in the corner. Okay, here we go with Mugi trying to probably reset the neutral a little bit, trying to find his footing, but Yuhi not giving him any chance to do so. And here we go with the bad moon. Bad moon. <laughs> I love the name of this attack. You bad moon. <laughs> You're a bad moon. We go with the fake cross up. You he almost found the opening. This is unfortunate for him because Mugi has such a godlike defense. He couldn't be open that easily. And uh, yeah, Mugi resorting to alternate his uh, jumping timing to try. Oh my lord! The double overhead right there from oh Yuhi and the grabber to seal the deal. First round goes to Yuhi. Thank you very much for the following, Kubo-kun, and welcome to the Brojo's. Follow, itadaki, arigato gozaimasu, Kubo-kun-san, and... Yokoso, eh, to Brojo, eh, Yokoso. And that being said, here we go with the second match. Let's see if Umugi can find a... Well, can uh, find his footing a little bit more, and Yuhi going with the forbidding mixes, the forbidding pressure. Scoops Mugi out of the air with the close S right there. Mugi Star finally opened by the Bad Moon! Bad Moon! <laughs> I don't know why I love the name of this, this deck so much. Bad Moon! Okay, and here we go back to the neutral. Mugi really trying to find his footing. Cannot find... Okay, finally find something out, but <laughs> immediately Yuhi out of it, man. He says, nope, I'm bailing out. And no, you cannot punish this move anymore. Very nice confirm by Yuhi, and he has the follow-up of the overdrive with... Jeff. <laughs> Quite simply, death. And here we go back to the match in the quick close S counter hit in favor of you. He's gonna get the wall break and the big damage right there. Oh my lord, half of the health of Mugi is already out of the window. Uh, did I update the, uh, the score? Oh no, no, it's, yeah, it's, okay. it's the second map. Here we go, bad. Oh no, bad. Very good burst. A good burst from Mugi right there. He got completely punished. And this is gonna be... Oh no! Bad Moon couldn't hit! This is unfortunate. But still, okay, wake up, overdrive, and unfortunately, Yuhi, the patience of a Buddha Priest, he gets the second match as well. Very well done. Let's see if... Uh, Mugi, Mugi's thinking about it. Oh no! Mugi's sticking to his guns. Okay, okay, I respect. Because as I have already told you guys, Mugi is... For first and foremost, a, a, a Mugi main, yes, obviously. A Nagoriyuki main. So him picking uh, Mei is actually quite surprising. Maybe it's just for this matchup, I'm not quite sure. But that being said, here we go with the pressure, the un, the endless pressure from Yuhi, man. Not afraid to just go straight in the face of Mugi and press buttons. No entire right there from Yuhi. He, he does get the, uh, the IADH, jumping H counter hit into... Corner carry combo, and he's gonna get the wall break. Boom! Out of here, Mugi sound. Okay, Mugi, yeah, definitely struggling to find his footing. Oh lord, no! The bad grab, but it's still okay. Use the RC2, make it safe. And the fake cross up for the kill. Yuhi on match point. Is Mugi going to be able to bring it back? We shall see in the next episode of Dragon But No, we shall see right now. Oh my lord, the double cross-up, man. That was crazy good. And Mugi, what's most crazy is that Mugi actually managed to, to block it. Here we go, no, you are not running straight to me, sir. And the fake cross-up yet again. He couldn't quite pick up Mugi, though, in the process, but it's still okay. Oh lord, yeah, Mugi forced to hold it. Hold it, hold it. Okay, here we go, Mugi. Yeah, struggling to find an opening, man. Struggling, and here we go, DMT low. And again with the fake cross-up, it's been working so good for for you. He's gonna get the wall break. It still doesn't use the tension bar to try to get the hard knockdown. Oh, Lord, and the badly timed 6P right there. Got scooped by May's enormous anchor, and this is gonna do. Very nice, very, very nice uh, recognition right there. Uh, versus Bon Bon. So that's the best by far. The best Axel player in 
Philippines right now against, well, actually in the Southeast in Re Re Region, 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 Region. I'm playing, I'm speaking French. Anyways, here we go with Bon 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 on with the onslaught. Yo, uh, how are you doing, Punk J? Are you good? And here we go with the grab from Bamba Bon finds the opening and again with the cross up. Yo, said that was really, really good stuff right there. And oh my lord, and the sniper right there from Bon Bon, bon finds the opening. Nas, oh, he went for a cheeky grab attempt right there. And unfortunately for him, Bon Bon, bon was on point, actually managed to get uh, the kill. Ah, uh, thanks, yeah, I'm happy to have you back, Punk Jay. And here we go with the rain, water, and Nas getting more into his element right there. Okay, trying to be more reactive and not that uh, aggressive. Okay, finally he gets the Lin in. Oh lord, and Bamba Ban doing a good job of just uh, running straight and blocking. Okay, again, back to neutral. Lord, very nice recognition right there from Bamba Ban that you could get the hit. And here we go, you are in, yeah, you are in Schmix City. Oh lord. Uh, yeah, Nash trying to go with the instant overhead right there. Unfortunately, couldn't quite hit the mark. And Ban Ban Ban, he is. Yeah, in Schmix mode right there, and he got the kill quite convincingly. First match goes to Ban Ban Ban. Good stuff. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Second match. Adamel, let's see how this goes. Very nice rainwater finds the hit. Nasa free to throw them rinsing again. Feel okay. Very nice two HS gets the trade and look at the damage. Actually, this is very good damage. Very nice two S two H. I'm sorry. Very nice two H counter hit. Oh lord, oh, a bad burst right there. No, very good burst. <laughs> a very bad burst from Nas, unfortunately, is in Schmix land. And there we go with Bon Bon Bon. Going low this time around, he went high. And this is gonna kill? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. The damage. That was big, man. Very, very nicely, uh, very nicely done. Here we go with Bon 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 just running straight. 2k, 2d for the mix. Okay, he managed to get a D grab and he goes for a cross up Yozon Sen for the Schmix. Oh, here we go. Nas definitely having trouble finding his footing right there. Oh my lord, that was a huge jumping six. Uh, jumping AHS right there. Here we go with the Kabari. Oh lord, oh lord, what are you gonna do, Nas? What are you gonna do, Nas? Oh, okay, here we go, Nas. Okay, oh, and the standing P for the kill by Bon Bon Bon. He takes the second match quite convincingly as well. Nas definitely looking a little bit lost right there, but it's only normal. I mean, the opponent is none other than a professional, a very good professional uh, player. That being, here we go with Nas trying to get, uh, yeah, something going on. But yeah, Bon 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 just making his way, man, and going with the Yozansen follow-up after the jumping HS, man. Lord. Oh, and here we go with the wall break. It's not gonna kill. No, it's definitely not. Yeah, boom. And here we go with the charge dust for the wall break. Uh oh. Oh no. And Naz gets scooped by the standing S. Very quick. Uh, very quick move to come out uh, and to punish whatever is already on the screen. Oh, here we go. The two HS this time around. Bon 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 blocks. Lord, yeah, oh, Bon 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 in, yeah, he definitely made it in, and here we go with damage station, here we go, oh, Lord, no wall break, but still, okay, he goes for the low this time around, and the recognition, man, the recognition station, he's gonna get the wall break, oh, Lord, what is going to be the next step, oh, Lord, not the mixes, man, and to finish with the low, Bon 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 takes it, 3 Nice, I'm looking forward to this as well. Kohide against Sutila. Okay, let's see. Oh, again, here we go. Start of the match and an immediate jump from both opponents. Luckily for Stila, he had the jumping S, which has a huge, huge, huge range. See the bro joke up. Yes, you can, and you are more than... Uh, more than welcome to do so. And here we go. Oh, Lord. And the six, the big six feet from Kohida manages to scoop Silla out of the air. And here we go. It's still going for the extension. Unfortunately for him, Kohide had the burst to make it safe. Here we go with the wall break. 
Oh lord, yeah, still having some problems finding his footing as well. And just like this, Kohita takes the first round quite convincingly. We go on to the second round and the big standing S in favor of still against the wall break. Not the wall break, gets the counter hit into a uh, corner carry combo. And this is gonna be... Oh lord, 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 the damage. It wasn't even finished. Oh, that's crazy, man. Lord and the big 6 speed, very nice recognition from Stella manages to snatch it away from Gohide. Very nice start of the round by Sutila, man. Good stuff. Oh, Lord, and the big punish right there. Well, the, the, the adequate punish from Gohide. He manages to take Stella in the corner. Stella wakes up with the burst, obviously, to get out of harm's way. Oh, Lord, yeah, Stella just running straight, man. Good stuff. Manages to, um, to, uh, to hit part of the uh the entire of kohide previously that being said here we go with the corner carry oh my lord dead freaking jump oh no and just like this man kohide is gonna get the wall no he couldn't quite get the wall break oh lord yeah and still not afraid to press buttons right there Ooh, ah, no this is unfortunate not like this and the first match goes to kohide very very strong first match from him let's see how this pans out get on to the second match no oh, lord and dear two are in favor of kohide okay, i do have a message from somebody oh it's okay okay here we go with the onslaught from oh lord from kohide he's gonna get the wall break still are definitely down in health Oh lord! And the raw Yozansen gets punished by Kohide and this is gonna spell death actually. Good stuff from Kohide. This is the first round of the second match. Okay, how is this going to pan out? Oh lord. Yeah, still up. Oh, you finally find something. Oh lord, and the dashes, man, of Kohide doing at such opportune moments that Stella just cannot get a read off of them, which is definitely understandable. I'm speaking as if I am capable of getting reads from this really, really good mobility, which is not the case. Okay, here we go. Finally, Stella finds the opening. Okay, he goes for the follow-up of the... Oh no, and but uh, drops the combo, but it's still okay. He manages to get... Oh, a favorable air-to-air, -air and the grab. Oh lord, he was with the cross-up, he was on sin, and... Kohide aware of the grabs right there. You cannot grab a grab master. Elgay is going to get the wall break. Okay, one more chance for Stella to try to bring it back. But the standing H for Kohide managed to make him seal the deal. 2-2-0 two, two, for Stella. Stella definitely down 2 but not giving up, I can tell. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah, two are in favor of Stella. Very nice combo right there. Woo! Ooh, very nice punish. He couldn't quite get the follow-up duel, but still okay. He's got Kohide right where he wants him to be. We are just one hit away from a Yozan Sai, I feel. And here we go with uh, the overdrive. Is, yeah, this is death right there. Hurrah! Good stuff from Stilla. Wow, takes it with a perfect. This is a strong statement from Stilla. Okay, very nice. Uh, jumping back. S right there. Oh no, and the bad lead. The very good. Very well, well timed burst right there from Stella. I'm sorry, it's a running gag. Very badly timed uh, um, burst from Stella. This is really unfortunate. And here we go with the Puente. Oh, and the uh, Cannon Drill. Oh, okay, my lord. The punish game of Kohida has been pristine, man. It's been crazy good. And this should do. Yeah, this is gonna do. Good stuff from Kohida. Manages to take. The second round, and here we are on match points. Stella definitely needs this one. Was that a shimmy? Yeah, it was. It was. This is Kohide. It was a Kohide shimmy, yeah. And here we go with the juggle. Unfortunately for Kohide, he drops the combo. He is going to get the wall break. A pretty big one in the wall break. Soft knockdown, though, for uh, Kohide. So can't get guaranteed pressure, but oh lord, and just like this is gonna do. Very nice confirm of Kohide into the Ventania and this is what to the loser semifinal is gonna be none other than Bon Bon against Kohide. <laughs> I love saying his name like that, I don't know why. But anyways, Bon Bon sticking to his guns with uh Biken. I'm really surprised that he didn't use um he didn't use Sol or maybe he did but offline I guess it's definitely possible. You go with the jump HS counter hit this did a lot of damage. 
We'll go with the Yozon Sen and Kohide. Oh lord, lord, lord. Finally, Ban Ban forced to pop the burst and Kohide on his A game. Oh, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Look at the damage. Okay, here we go with Ban 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 using uh, some slick setups right there to get an empty throw, but Kohide was definitely aware of it. Actually, managed to take the grab, which is pretty freaking crazy if you ask me. Kohide gets the hard knockdown right there. No cross up. Oh lord, and Kohide is still on the tail of Ban Ban Ban. He's gonna be at the kill. Good first round for Kohide. Manages to get the kill very convincingly onto the second round. And ooh, the Puente, man. Kohide on point, and he gets the counter hit on the Sepultura and even punishes the Hiragi attempt. Lord, and again with the wall break this time around, Kohide keeping his tension in. Oh, and the jump. Oh, my lord. Lord blocks the first hit of the um, of the uh, of the overdrive and punishes the second hit attempt with the Hiragi. This is godlike stuff from Bam Bam Bam. Oh my lord! He even manages to bait the YRC. That was crazy. Good, good stuff from Bam Bam Bam. Catches the backdash attempt from Kohide with the two HS, and this should spell death. Good stuff from. Bon Baban, good stuff. They'll get on to the final round of the first match. Here we go. The neutral is high. Here we go with Bon Baban actually manages to hit Kohide out of his dash with the 2k. Okay, here we go. Very nice tick throw right there from Kohide. Oh, makes it so that he. Like it feels like he was gonna grab him, but it wasn't quite the case. Here we go. Bon Baban finds the opening. Oh, Lord. And the. Very nice timed grab right there from Kohide. Ooh, and that shimmy deal. Pour une fois que tu vas avoir droit à un top 8 avec une bike. Ouais, j'avoue, c'est rare. C'est tonton. C'est pas tonton, c'est euh, Sensei qui va être content. Oh, Lord, 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 the 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. That was crazy good. And here we go. Oh, and this should. Yeah, this should do. Oh, Lord! That bait, though. Know, that bait from Bamba Bon catches Kohide out of his burst and punishes him and manages to take the first. Match good stuff from Bon Bon. -Bon. Here we go. Immediate start of the round from Kohide with the uh, with the burst. Oh lord, what happened? Oh, okay, that was probably a failed was on send, but still Bon 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 on his A game when it comes to converting everything that he does. And no, the 6P couldn't quite reach Kohide this time around. This is unfortunate for him. Very nice uh, Sepulter right there. Keeps Bon 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 in the corner. He's gonna get the wall break into a soft knockdown. Okay, here we go. Very nice stuff from Kohide. He's gonna get the confirm, and this should spell death. That's gonna be heavily skilled, though. Yeah, it's not gonna kill. Uh, God bless the guts. Okay, here we go with Kohide. Okay, very nice. Whiff punish right there from Kohide. Manages to get the kill. Now to the next. Oh lord, the next round. Here we go with the close. Oh lord, and the jump in by Kohide forces Bam 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 to burst right there, and Bam 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 just yeah throwing them uh, Kabari to try to catch the dash of Kohide. Okay, no follow up on the Kabari this time around, and no six P on the um, cannon drill unfortunately. Oh lord, and the quick dust right there. Roman cancel. Roman cancel for the wall break. Okay, and here we go, Bon 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 catches. Oh, Kohide. Both players manages to take the throw. And here we go with the grab by Kohide for the kill. And both opponents got... Uh-oh. And here we go, immediate start of the round with dash into 2P from Kohide. Forces the burst from... Bon 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 got put it right where he wants, couldn't quite connect the two S unfortunately. Yeah, it's not my fault, but it's annoying. <laughs> I feel bad for the players basically. Okay, here we go. Very nice uh, 2P right there from Bon Bon Bon. He definitely didn't want to keep getting pressured and nice 6P right there and conversion from Kohide. Couldn't quite get the following, uh, couldn't quite get the wall splat. It's unfortunate for him. Here we go with the Puente. Bon Bon not afraid to run up and pressure okay can get Kohide out of the air 
Oh, very nice take throw right there again from Kohide. And he's gonna get the kill. Yes, he will. Nicely done by Kohide. Takes the first round of the third match once again. Ah, oh, nice 6p right there. Catches Bon Bon, bon out of the air. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. Bon Bon, bon with the tick pressure right there. Oh, Lord. Okay, you don't have a Kabari anymore. Oh, Lord. Ah, I couldn't quite get the follow-up. This is unfortunate for him. And Bon Bon, bon finally again pops the burst. Oh, and that back dash was godlike, not gonna lie. We go back to the corner pressure from... Kohide and Kohide delaying his 2S so that it doesn't get scooped by the Hiragi. Oh, here you go. He goes for the follow-up. Ah, oh, tried to bait the burst. Uh, tried to bait the um the grab right there from Kohide. And here we go. The grab. And once again, Kohide takes it. Takes the lead actually 2 to Z. 2 to 1, I'm sorry. Let's see how this pans out. And potentially on to the final set of this encounter. Okay, here we go. Oh, and the Kabari almost catching Kohide off. And here we go with the grab. Kohide again with the tick pressure. Oh, nice confirm right there from Kohide. Could get the extension. And the big 2D counter. This did a lot of damage. This is going to do a lot of damage, actually. No overdrive right there. Kohide confident that he could make better use of it by keeping it. And actually does it. Good stuff. And this should kill, yeah. Oh, and here we go, the double RC and the kill by Kohide. On the verge, this is match point for Kohide. How is this going to pan out? Here we go, the simple tier. Oh, Lord, catches Bon 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 pressing buttons right there. Nope, and punishes the 6 speed. That was crazy good. Lord, yeah, Bon 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 quite in the predicament right there. A little bit lost, if I might say. Ah, uh, this is not gonna kill. Guts, three to guts. Oh lord, and just like this, Kohide takes it with extreme confidence. This is bound to be a pretty crazy match if I have ever seen one. Let's see how Zeej manages the speed of Yuhi and how Yuhi manages the explosive power of Nagori Yuhi. We shall see. And here we go. Very nice jump in right there from Yuhi. Manages to uh, get the first blood. And here we go with a very nice dash to... 2k into 2d and finally Yuhi manages to mix correctly get the wall splat and the wall break good start of the round by Yuhi man ah man gets nice counter hit right there with the far s cancel into the roman cancel for the corner carry and just like this ah not enough to kill sweet gut sweet defense and here we go finally ZJ allowed to press buttons oh nice Fukio into the grab. Caught Yuhi off guard right there. Oh lord, and the read attempt from Zeej thinking that Yuhi was going to take to the air and Yuhi takes this opportunity to punish Zeej. And here we go, the clash in favor of nobody since Yuhi decided to block right after. Nice far slash for S for HS right there from Zeej. And the aerial pickup from Yuhi, very nicely done. Back to neutral. Oh lord, the spacing from Zeej was really good right there. Catches uh, the legs of Yuhi trying to punish this Fukio attempt. Okay, the pressure is real. Oh lord. Okay, here we go back to neutral. Both opponents definitely waiting for an opportunity. Uh, Zeej doesn't want to overextend. Well, he probably does, but he's definitely forcing himself not to. And the big just... The big, big, big just block right there from Yuhi. And the bad moon. The bad moon for the opening. He gets the wall break. Very nice 2S into 2HS two right there from Zij. Not overextending. Just, yeah, perfect. Good stuff. Just a clean old... Plain old jump in from Zeech for the kill. And w this is one round apiece. Let's see if uh, one or the other opponent manages to... Uh, well, to... Uh, Come on, Miller. Miller, destroy you. Destroy this guy. <laughs> Come on, Miller. Destroy him. <laughs> You're going to the far S into the far HS. Ah, yeah, gets the knockdown and the juggle. Very nicely done. Oh, Lord. 
and a bad moon a bad moon for the opening oh lord and he's gonna get the overdrive no well okay not it doesn't even need the overdrive for the kill Yuhi just like this puts one on the board and takes the lead Zeej down one it's not over chill it's over this is for sure oh lord oh lord and here we go with the quick burst from Yuhi gets the wall break no well not the wall break yes sir uh, I'm not this is not a wall break gets the knockdown thank you very much okay here we go with the tick pressure from Yuhi oh and Zeej not afraid to press buttons finally gets out of the corner and no entire red there since there was no commitment from Yuhi, very nice uh, run into 2k into 2d to punish the wreck attempt. Oh lord. Okay, and here we go. Yuhi has to block this time around. Yuhi definitely non committal right there. Taking his time to not over. Um, not to overextend. Like, really taking his time not to run straight into Nagori Yuki's blade and always mixing his options up. And look at the optimization station, the corner carry from Milia, man. Oh lord, what was that? Okay, here we go again with the whiff punish, man. You keep waiting for Zeej to whiff the two HS and punish him accordingly. And Zeej just looking overwhelmed, man. This is crazy. Oh, and here we go. This Finally. Oh, and here we go with the 4S counter hit for the punish and just like this. Yuhi takes the sec the first round of the second match. Oh, very nice recognition right there, Z. He takes, he manages to bring Melia in the corner. This is the time to not let her out. You let her out, you're gonna be in a world of pain. And you let her out. <laughs> Commentator's curse. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. He still has a, a hefty, like, health lead. So it's not over till it's over. Okay, here we go. Oh, and that four slash probably wanted to get the close slash, but still okay. Managed to get a decent amount of damage in. Oh, and the far slash again. This has been working so much for Yuhi. Far slash, confirm, Roman cancel, corner carry combo, wall break. And my lord, the jumping D contest right there from Aziz calling Yuhi out, knowing that he was gonna take to the air. Okay, here we go with Aziz not over. Lee commit oh committing oh lord okay back to the neutral and Yuhi on point with the Fukio punish right there he's been working so well in his favor man good stuff he's gonna get the wall break yet again yet again and here we go back to the oh my lord Oh, very nice stuff. And again with the bad moon. Bad moon, we said. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. This. How do we characterize this? With this dumb stuff. Anyways, here we go. With the wall break from Yuhi. Very nicely done. And the 2k and 2d for the win. And just like this, he takes the second match. We're moving on to the ne following match. Potentially the final match of the set. Is Zeej going to stay alive? Or is he gonna yield to the quick, the very quick and beautiful Melia? We shall see. Empty low for the opening and Zeej getting carried in the corner. Yet again with the wall break. Positive bonus incoming from Yuhi. Gonna be able to make use of this far S. You see this, you see this, right? Oh lord, and the far HS from Zeej just has far better reach. Oh, and that finally entired. Yuhi, uh, oh lord, and just as I say this, Yuhi successfully hits Zeej with a far S. Roman cancel into corner carry, uh, the, the combo into wall break. And again, man, Yuhi definitely making good use of that far S, man. Waiting to get like the uh, necessarily me meter and then using far S. Roman cancel forward into, uh, yeah, an opening basically. Okay, oh, okay, started around with the DP, and this is gonna do a lot of damage. No wall break for you, sir. But still, okay, catches the feet of Melia. You should not stand, Melia, not right now. Okay, but Melia entering back in. Uh, in uh, entering back with mix ups and pressure of their own. It's gonna get the wall break. Here we go with the forest again. I bet you, I bet you he's gonna use the, uh, the, the forest again. Ah! Nope, no forest for you. And here we go, Zeej on the verge of taking it. He's gonna get the wall break. Yeah, this is dead. 
Goodbye, I think. Okay, yeah, it is. Yeah, you're dead. Goodbye. Blah. I thought it was a little bit too far to get the uh, the full animation. But apparently it wasn't a okay, case, so it's good. And on to again, second match ball, second ball match, second, second set point. Match point, my lord, am I gonna be able to say it? Okay, here we go, the schmixes and the conversion from Melia, man, on point. You, he definitely on point with Melia. Okay, and back with the 4S with punishing game. Yuhi loves this game. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, get okay, forced to use the... Forced to use the, uh, the Roman Cancel to make their sledge safe. Thank you very much for the follow, Schizo Floyd, and welcome to the Mojo. And here we go, the empty low again with the opening, and Yuhi, man, unrelentless. Unrelentless, yes. The relentless pressure. And no... Tension, okay, still. Yuki not believing in their own tension, I feel. Not believing in their own overdrive. Well, it's understandable. Probably would rather, like, oh lord, that's the forbidding starter, and just like this, you is gonna lose it. <gasps> oh lord, and Zeej brings it back. Oh lord. Good stuff, Zeej. Zeej still in, still not out of it yet. He was on the brink of destruction, but managed it. Managed to bring it back. And here we go with the far. The corner carry pressure of Yuhi, and he's gonna get the wall break. Oh lord, and the goal burst right- Oh, it wasn't a goal burst, actually. A single burst, a normal blue burst. And here we go with the juggle potential, Milia. Oh, and... Very nicely done, gonna get the wall break. I was afraid for a minute right there. Okay, no anti right there, and the bad boon! Successfully blocked by Zeej. Okay, your forest, forest, the pressure is real, but... Zeej doesn't have a... well, Zeej has plenty of blood. Oh, uh, but it's going down ever so slightly. Okay, oh, couldn't quite get the juggle, but it's still okay. 2 HS finds its mark, and catches Milia back dashing. but here we go with the... 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 The cross under in favor of of uh, of uh, Yuhi manages to steal it away. Oh lord, and that confirm was god like good stuff from Yuhi. Yep, Zeech has to hold it. Has to hold it. Has to hold it, man. Oh, okay, no way punish on this one, unfortunately. Oh lord, and here we go, the Zarame Yuki. Oh yo, ah, okay, if he got the juggle and he's gonna get the wall break. And here we go with the quick burst. Oh, Smoey, my brother. Thank you very much for the host, as always. I hope you had a wonderful streaming, man. And don't worry, your viewers are safe with me. <laughs> just in time for Yui-sama. You, exactly, Yusef, just in time. Just in time for him to go to Grand Finals, actually. And just like this, Yui... Yes. <laughs> okay, I see. Okay, on to the next battle. Zid versus Kohide. How is this going to pan out? We shall see. This is the run back from Kohide Lab not going between matches. Yeah, I hope I sure hope he did, because if not, he's in uh he's gonna be in for a very, very hard time. And here we go the 2D counter hit immediate burst from Zeech doesn't want to have anything to do with this. Oh lord, oh the badly time 6 period right there, but still in favor of Zeech. He's gonna push Kohide in the corner. Oh, and Kohide with the jump out of the corner the simple jump out of the corner and here we go the uh the dash grab as i have said so many times uh giovanna is not a rushdown character she is a grappler a grappler i said oh lord oh here we go very nice confirm from he couldn't quite get the to connect he was only in level two blood so he couldn't quite get the uh the connect in 2s 2hs and just like this oida takes the first Round, I cheer for you, Hisama, but Zij is your friend, of course, as you should. As you should. Nagimas, Nagimas. That's on it. Nagimas. Yes, please do. Please, Nagimi. Oh, and here we go with the pressure from Kohide. Definitely finding some new stuff working this time around in his favor. And the double trouble Fukio right there. Oh, my lord. And Kohide is running straight into the jump. 
HS from Vage. And here we go. Ah, the pressure is real. And the Nage again. The grab. And again the grab. This should do. No, it's not. Oh, Lord. And the tick pressure, man. Kohide, master of tick pressure. He's going to get the kill with the Nasante. And first match goes to Kohide. Good stuff, good stuff. Not going to lie. And on to the next battle. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice. Blocks from Kohide. Not impatient. Not overextending this time around, but it, unfortunately for him, he gets grabbed by Zeej, and Zeej already almost full bar of blood right there. He cannot, uh, he cannot afford to press. Well, he cannot afford to use his special right there, or he risks of blood bursting at any given time. Okay, and here we go with the pressure, and Kohide having trouble dealing with it. And just like this, Zeej takes the first. The first round. Exactly. Exactly, Fukio. Oh, Lord. Here we go with the jump in from Kohide. Oh, Lord. And that's... Oh, that closest. How did it hit Kohide? It was behind him. But anyways, it did. Uh, no confirm right there from uh, ZG. Could have taken it. Oh, Lord. And Kohide being a little bit too angsty. A little bit too impatient. Oh, and saved by the burst. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, this is so tough. Oh, and the gold burst. What is going to happen? And just a standing P for the kill. Good stuff from Zeej. Manages to put one on the board as well. And just like this, my, my freaking scoreboard is going ham as well. I don't understand what's going on, but I know how to solve it at least this time around. Here we go. And uh, Quid is on... Is up two? No, it's not possible. Quid is up, uh... Quid is up one, actually. I think. Yeah, Quid is up one, I think. Oh, Lord! And the jump. Overdrive from Kohide, man. Good stuff. Oh, man, just to catch the back dash. Good stuff from him. Oh, Lord! Here we go with the burst. And Kohide out of Dire Straits. Oh, wake up. Overdrive. I think it's going to be blocked, yeah. Ah, uh, and no meter to make it safe. And just like this, Kohide is going to take the first round. Good stuff from Kohide. On to the next battle. And here we go with the back. Fukio into the Beyblade. Already has uh, Kohide in the corner. Definitely don't want him out. Oh, Lord. And the 2S counter it right there. Catches the uh, cannon drill attempt. Very nice. Uh... Special grab, and again with the grab. Oh, Lord, and the back dash saves Kohide. And again with the grab. You grab me, I'm gonna grab the freak out of you as well. No bar to have the uh, hard knockdown, though. But still okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, that was a very nice IAD to get out of the range of the 6P. That being said, Zeej still managed to get the hidden and win this round. Lord, yeah, Koide likes to backdash, he really does, and Zeej is starting to pick up on it. Okay, very nice 2k, 2k. Forces the burst from Zeej. Oh, very nice. Good 2s into 2hs. Oh, Lord, okay. Oh, and that backdash call. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no, you hate to see it happen. He had the correct idea, but yeah. Koide just dealing just a tiny bit his uh, bursts. I am getting the gold one. That was the absolute worst thing that could happen for Zeej. Uh, Zeej on the verge of blood uh, blood explosion, man. Ah, uh, here we go with again the tick throw, man. It's been working so good for him. <gasps> Going for the quick instant overhead. And just like it did. This is gonna kill. It is. I oh, know it's not. Lord. Still alive. Oh, and the... Oh, no. This time the 6 HS, he had to win. Oh, I really hope he's not going to come back to bite you in the breach. Oh, and the 2S. Oh, my lord, I clenched my butt so hard. I thought that a vein on my head was going to explode. That's a little bit too much detail for you guys. But anyways, here we go. Zeej up 2-1. Two, two, Kohide on the losing end this time around. Let's see how this ends out. <laughs> here you go. Zeej forced to pop the burst. So intense. It was pretty intense, not going to lie. And here we go with Oh Kohide. Oh, finding the opening. Oh, but a little bit too eager to get in. 
Again, Kohide with the wake-up gold burst. I'm a gold you out. Oh! And no entire, and rightfully so. Bye. Zeej, he would have been scooped by the aerial overdrive. A very nice whiff punish right there. This is intentional, by the way. It's not like a random, uh, like, backdash into four dash into punishing you. Kohide notices when you whiff a button, and then he dash on you. He dashes on you, and uh, yeah, yeah, and, and then punishes you. Like this. <laughs> and just like this, Kohide is going to take this round as well. Let's see how this pans out. Is Zeej going to be able to bring it back? But he's still in the lead, so it's still okay, I guess. Oh, Lord. That was scary. Oh, Lord, and the Beyblade to catch the backdash of Kohide. Probably Zeej noticing that Kohide is a little bit too much backdash uh, friendly right now. Oh, and the shimmy attempts, man. Too far to hit him with the jumping HS. Again, the grab by... <gasps> and he goes for an instant overhead, and he's gonna get the wall break. Positive bonus. So again, here we go. The jump in by Zeej. Unfruitful, unfortunately. And this is gonna spell death, yeah. Very nice whip punish by Kohide. Puts one on the board, and I feel like we're going to go down to the wire. Final round of the final match. I feel I'm calling it out already. I really feel like it's gonna be the case. Both opponents definitely do not want to lose to each other. Okay, here we go again. Very nice tech right there from Zeej. Doesn't get scooped by Koide. Very nice recognition. Uses the uh, the DP for juggle. Oh, and cannon drill. Okay, raw cannon drill. No punish from either side. <gasps> oh, Lord, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Again with the 4 HS. And again, look at the damage on OTG. And this is gonna go. No. Uh oh, you got hit. Oh, what the hell with that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's probably no... There, yeah, I think there wasn't any, like, um... There wasn't any, uh, hurtbox on, um... On the end of the... On the end of the sword, yeah. There weren't any hitbox. Lord, that was pretty cool, not gonna lie. Good stuff from Zaid. And here we go, back with the corner pressure. Koki the Force to take it. You have to take it. You have to take it. Oh lord, look at the damage, and just like this, he just gonna take it. Okay, I called it a bad. Elden Ring theme right there, this is gonna be so epic. Lord! <laughs> Can I not cheer for both? Yes, you may. Everything is fine. Let's do this, Yuhi versus Zeej. With a freaking epic Elden Ring <laughs> song, song in the background. This is gonna be pretty nice. And an immediate opening from Yuhi. Here we go. Oh, Lord, and the bad burst from Yuji, by the way. This is uncharacteristic, if I might say. And the command grab by Zeej. He's just had it that everybody jumps out of it. He wants to grab you. Let me grab you. Let me in. Let me in. That's what he's saying. This is Zeej right now. If you don't want me, I'm going to grab you. Okay, finally, finally, Yuji out of the pressure right there. This was about to be a very, very, very... Oh, Lord. Oh, no. And a badly timed. Oh, but that's still okay. Okay, here we go. Zeed out of the wood, but still back in mixed land. Oh, yeah, he got scooped by the endless. Oh, but very. Oh, Lord, Lord. That was pretty crazy. Good stuff from Z Just right out of. Uh, just out of the range of. Out of the grab range of Yuhi and forced him to tech it. And that made it so that Zeech could get a clean hit off of him. Okay, here we go with the conversion station from you. He he's gonna get the mix. Good stuff. That was definitely a grab, yeah. Definitely. He called out the grab. Yeah, he got 5D. Yeah, exactly. That was a grab. Oh, but here we go. The burst bait. And just like this, everything is looking mad good from you. He, yeah, you even get the wall splat into the wall break. Good stuff. Okay, and on to the next battle. Let's see how this pans out. We're gonna get the Elden Ring, the Elden Beast uh, theme song this time around. And here we go with the fake cross up. Opens up Zeej. He's gonna get the wall break. Good stuff. And back to the neutral 2K 2D for Melia. He's gonna get the wall. Oh, Lord. And the mixes are strong with the bad moon. Bad moon. <laughs> Got them zooms. He does. He does. Okay, oh, Lord, in the sledge for the uh, RC uh, cancel into the the flags are. Oh my Lord, they are! <laughs> and I just realized now. I'm sorry, I'm not doing my job correctly. Let me let me punish myself. Here we go. 
And here we go. Yes, indeed. You, he's Japanese and Zij is. Zij moved to Japan, didn't you know? I wasn't aware. I wasn't aware. The map material. Winner of this set will become Singaporean. <laughs> he's gonna get the green card. Exactly. And here we go. The Beyblade back to the neutral. Oh Lord! And the big first bait. Oh no! You shall not try to bite me. Again, okay, back with the. The bro stones buff for victory sounds great. It really does, actually. <laughs> okay, here we go with you. He back. Oh lord, this is an unfortunate YRC, and this is gonna do a lot of damage. This is all. I feel like, I feel like our good friend Zeech could have gotten a little bit more, but then again, I do not main Nagori Yuki, so I have no say in the matter. And the very nice air aerial grab right there from Zeech. That was really nice, done nicely done. Good stuff. Okay, and here we go back. No, you stay there. Stop. Oh, and the grabber gets grabbed. Good stuff from Yuhi. Okay, here we go. Oh, Lord. And no cancel this time around on his uh, Beyblade. Oh, Lord. And Yuhi just running straight, man. That was crazy. Very nice block right there from uh, Zij. Oh, Lord. And empty jump into 2K2D. He's got the knockdown. Yuhi. He's got the schmixes. He's got the conversion. He's going to get the wall break. If GG's loses, it's just because he doesn't want to become Singaporean. GG's, I did better than expected today. Yeah, you did, of course. I was afraid I I'd get banned from uh, from, the, from the the Red Bull tournament. That's why I give you a I give you a good bracket. <laughs> but good stuff, man. Zij's gonna become Japanese if you lose. Oh lord, is that a good or a bad thing? <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the empty low 2K into 2D again. Z struggling not to get hit by them mixes, but then again. Not getting mixed by Emilia is like not eating good if you go to a five-star restaurant. Well, then again, a five-star restaurant is, yeah, it really depends, to be honest. Anyways, that being said, back to the story at hand. And Yuhi again. Oh, Lord, and that with punish, I see I see um, remnants of Kohi display style in Yuhi's right there. Very nice side swap right there from Yuhi to keep the corner. And on with the onslaught, Yuhi. Oh no, and the wall, no, the blood explosion. And just like this, Yuhi is actually up 2 to 1, 2 0, if I'm correct. Am I? I'm pretty sure you're, yes, Yuhi is up 2. Yuhi is up 2, yeah, he is, he is. I didn't update it. Okay, and this is potentially, I, I think he is. I, I wish there was a, a, a way for me to determine, to, to check it. But I'm pretty sure he's up too. That being said, here we go with the wall break. And Yuhi looking very good. Look at the damage on Nago, man. That was crazy good. Oh, and the conversion station. Back into more schmixes because, because why the hell not? Because my name is Melia and I'm going to schmix the schmucks out of you. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. That was pretty cool, not gonna lie. And the bad moon, no bad moon. Oh, Lloyd with, with the sled, are you serious? Are you freaking serious? That was crazy good. And here we go on tournament point. You, he on the verge of taking it. He's got the wall break. He's not the wall break, he's got the knockdown. He doesn't have the wall break, but he may have it. Oh Lord, and no one's home on this Beyblade, sir. You are going to take my 4S. And here we go, you, he looking very good right there. He's gonna get the wall break, no use of the tension. Because he's in dire straits. Need to hold it. Be careful with the, the bad moon. I feel a bad moon incoming. I feel a bad moon. I feel a bad moon. Ah, uh, no bad moon. No more bad moon. And just like this. Just like this. You.